Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for you with a spoiler free movie review of the horror drama Relic. Before we start please don't forget to subscribe that's down here just one click on that red button and if you click the bell next to it you will be notified every time that I upload. With all of that being said let's jump into the video. First off let's start with the synopsis of this movie. A daughter, mother and grandmother are haunted by a manifestation of dementia that consumes their family's home. I I saw this movie on premiere night in the Netherlands and I went in completely blind. But Relic is definitely one of my favorite horror movies thus far released in 2020. I did see afterwards that this movie gets a low audience score and a high critics rate. This made sense to me. Because when you look at the trailer I don't think a lot of people would expect this movie from that trailer. I think a lot of people went in expecting jump scares and that's not what you're gonna get from this movie. This movie is not a typical jump scare kind of horror. This is a beautiful slow burn horror movie about the effects that dementia has on the person suffering from it and how it affects the people that love this person. It is told through metaphors that will get anybody who had a loved one die from this horrible disease. Also this movie had a great ending so that speaks volumes because let's be honest a lot of horror movies don't have the best endings. I personally did see my great granddad die from this disease and Relic displayed all of these horrors from this disease beautifully and with respect through metaphors. But I do need to say if you have lost somebody from this disease it can be very hard to watch this movie because it really hits home. It did for me it did make me cry in the cinemas. Afterwards, I did look up the director, Natalie Erica James, and I found an interview where she told her grandma actually suffered from Alzheimer's disease. So she wrote this story from what she knew and it really shows. The camera work is simple yet stunning. Two shots in particular I really love was in the first stage of dementia when the daughter tried talking to the grandma but she was not really all there at that moment so they shot it in a way that we were looking at it from the hallway. So that cut off the grandma. We only see like the wall and the doorpost. And we only see the daughter actually directly talking to a wall like metaphor of she's not listening it's not coming true to the grandma also a shot where the grandma is trying to bury a photo album in the woods it's this beautiful simple white shot well lit beautiful and they keep it standing there for a long time before they cut to the close-ups and i love this shot the acting is very well done although i didn't knew any of these three wonderful women they acted very well and it really feels like a family. Also the music or the lack thereof I enjoyed. This movie only used music when necessary but through the rest of the movie it keeps like surrounding sounds they took on the locations themselves. I could talk a long time about the metaphors in this movie and believe me I really really would love to do that but this is a spoiler free review. All I can say please listen to the pain and the story the director is trying to tell you through just a great movie. I personally loved Relic and I was debating about giving it eight and a half or a nine. I have to say this movie really stuck with me. I can't stop thinking about it and it was so well made. This really deserves a nine out of ten. It isn't perfect but it comes very very close to it. Would recommend watching this in cinemas. I'm personally buying it on blu-ray so yeah of course I will recommend you guys also to buy this one. It's a great movie. That was my movie review of Relic. Did you see this movie? What did you think about it? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. That's down here for more movie reviews, unboxings and other spooky content. And I would love to see you in my next video. Bye!